Habia Moye et Bawao, help us so. Please, justice for Nas. Justice for Nas, the poor husband, innocent husband of Lady Polodin, Dokas Adeninka, uh, Facebook bloggers, the popular Facebook blogger. Justice for your husband. Justice for your husband. Please help us all. The, may heavenly host back us on this. Justice for your husband. Yes, before I go any further, eh? why is sexual molestation so rampant among male celebrities celebrities all over the world that are men why is sexual molestation so rampant eh why snoop doggy dog american rapper snoop doggy dog american arabic artist trey song has been sued for 20 million dollars now the recent gist bills cosby oh chris brown the band niger artist the band uh, or like actor, veteran Hollywood actor, or like the Olabanji, uh, Bayou, comedian skit maker, Niger, Bayou, Timaya, Peruzi, and so on and so forth. Why? Honestly, among all these so called celebrities, what are all of you going to deny him? Do you understand? Are you, it's, it's obvious. Why is it so rampant among, among you male celebrities? I can go on and on. I can go on. Why is sexual molestation so rampant? Before I go on a um, married woman, holy matrimony, where the woman dead, defiled the bed, before I continue. Although concerning this Lady Polodin issue, it has become a saga. Because some of us dispute it, some of us disagree that no, you cannot be defiling your bed. You are an horrible woman and all that. And some, because of one reason or the other, they are benefit from this devilish docas. Some bloggers like her who are benefiting from her, maybe financially or other way else, they are, they are, they are, or she's paying them to do that. They are supporting her. So this has turned to a real saga between a lot of women. Not even men are involved. Do you understand? So there is these two lady. They are also blog Facebook bloggers who came out who based in Germany. They are Nigerian ladies. Do you understand? Who um, Kwame and then. Um, the one the Z mama. Do you understand? So they were dragging each other on this lady Polodi. Kwame supported Lady Polodi. Z Mama did not support Lady Polodi. So Kwame came for Z Mama because Z Mama nailed Lady Polodi over the issue that this is karma and all that. But when you ladies were dragging yourself, so I watched Z Mama's farm. Z Mama was exclaiming that, yes, yes, I'm rude to my husband. Somebody said you disrespect. You disrespected your husband, that you don't value your husband. In our dialects, you call your husband, you command him anyhow. And by the time you will do your own dragging, you admitted it that you, yes, it's a normal thing to disrespect your crown. Mm. See, mama, it's not a normal thing, no. I know I'm not supposed to mention you girl's name. The other lady that you said, Allah Rifien, your kwe, nya di orie, kish Allah Rifien, is the Lord that has made it your head, your crown. And by the time, they will show me because I don't know your husband. Yes, I spotted your wedding. Yes, back then, but I didn't mark the face of your husband. I'm not like that. It's not my business. By the time they will bring out the picture of your husband, I was highly disappoint disappointed. I know that you don't mean it for bad. That kind of physique that your husband, your husband is handsome and he look more presentable and responsible. Why will you say it's a normal thing to disrespect your husband? Please, if you want to disrespect your husband, not publicly, in your room. Because the lady exclaimed the way you commanded your husband that, ah, her gave me what big cake in our dialect. Uh, my love, carry that cake. No! So I begin to think about it that it might be in two ways. Maybe the cake that you ask your hobby to come and carry, maybe that part of cake actually belongs to your hobby. And yet, you don't have to, you don't utter words like that and say, ah, carry that cake. No, it's so disrespectful, my dear. And even if you want him to help you, you maybe that cake, you just want the cake to be kept inside the house. You want him to shift it from where it is and go and keep it. Don't still talk like that to your husband in our dialect or in any other language. Do you understand? If I were you, me, I call my man, baby. I don't have man for more than three years and yet plus now. But ah, baby, please, can you help me get the cake? Or if that cake belongs to him, that is our own part that we reserve. Ah, baby, that cake, should I should I serve you? Or you know, I even feel reluctant to send me. Oh, 
I feel reluctant to send my man any message. Even if any errand, even if I need this help, even if it's just to pick a pen from the table. He would have agreed that, okay, let me help you to get it. Before he got there, I would have got up and eventually, because, do you understand? It, my own, like, do you understand? I grew, I grew up to watching my mother doing this. Please, and if, yes, our man might help us, but don't just command your man. Re there is two reasons why I think you, you, you we have to respect men. It's because of people. The way you carry your man, that's how they help you to carry him. And because of your children. Children are growing up around you people. And yes, it was also exclaimed, women forum power. Before the, That was the breaking, women forum power. It was also exclaimed that, you, um, that this this so-called lady also explained that and you said that I'm not living with my husband are you also living with your husband so the two ladies that were dragging themselves in Germany on Lady Polodin issue why are you both legally married and yet you are not living with your husband excuse me in Germany please people is it is it a normal thing that you will be legally married you don't live with your husband so two of you I command you now go and start living with your husband Go and start living with your husband. You people are legally married. You are not separated. You are not currently. Why are you not living with your husband? The one of you have uh, four children. The other have like seven children for the husband. Why are you not living with your husband? Yeah, so justice for the London UK big boy, Nas. The poor Nas. The husband of the Olori Bruku Lady Polodin. And they Inka Dokas, Facebook blogger. For, uh, blogger. I fuck well. She know they let us rest. Ah! I fuck well. I'm a married woman. I fuck well. Not knowing that it is concubine that is fucking you. So DKY, the second concubine, the ex of this uh, married lady, Polodi Dokas. Why, Jesus, why are you so pained? And why are you indirectly dark dragging Buki Jesse? Let me tell you, DKY, because you were our ex. So don't, 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 don't blame people for dragging you into it. And because of that, you think you can be coming for people. You came for the bookie JC, you are telling her that she doesn't have a proof about Genesis. Are we talking about Genesis? You knew poor lady Polo did the cast. She's legally married. And you based in America. Two of you are doing video call dating. She based in UK, in Manchester. You are doing video call. You will bring out your manhood and begin to masturbate. The cast will be in the bath store. You did video call. You show the video call now. She will be naked in the bath or bringing out a punani from the bubble. Bubble water that has bubble shower and all that. She too will be fingering herself. Ha 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 ha. You too, Olori miserable people of doom. Both of you, you and Dokas. You now see that a lot of people that are coming for Dokas are the Lady Polodi, the abominable, abomination woman. They are dragging you because you are her ex. You now came out, you still have the audacity. There's no way they're not going to drag you because you are irresponsible. Reality, Daru. So, justice for Nas, London big boy. The, this guy bought her when she was a teenager. Bought her the only jeep that she's using to today. You call yourself a boss lady, the cast lady, polo did. Till now, you struggle, struggle to, <laughs> to change that car. You can't afford to change your car. The car that the, the, the nurse, the bobo nurse, the evil guy that you got married to, has bought for you for donkey years. For you to know, say big girl, no easy. That's why I say, that's why that they are fucking you here and there. And you call yourself a boss lady. It was hard for you to change that car because they're not so your conscience that is dirty. When all these even small, small girls can change their car before within a twinkle of an eye, it is that same car this guy has been only the car where this big boy you married both for you, you have been using. And yet you are cheating upon cheating on this. Justice in Jesus' name. I am ah. Hmm. So that is just it. Justice for that. London UK big boy. Justice for you. That Lord, that Lord will back you up. This is too much. This is too much. She will be busting. I fuck well. I fuck well. What do you fuck well? I fuck well. Ha, my husband. This and ah. You are a bad influence. And you will still, and the man that, all the man that are molesting you. They will be watching your video. You will still be acting saint on your platform. Dokat, Ori, Buruku, Nomashe. All every woman that is doing like that, or you have cheated before in that matrimony, I'm saying if you don't leave that matrimony, untimely death, untimely death, destruction upon catastrophe in Jesus' name. Look at that man that his wife just killed, just of recent, that we saw on social media. The man that based in, was it in France, that have a big hotel in Nigeria. 
this house, this matrimony woman to have three three children for this man, not knowing that quietly that man has gone to do the DNA test. None of the three children was the biological children of that man. But the, the late man shouldn't have explained to the wife. When the man kept on, the wife is always dragging the man that the man have one issue outside, out of wedlock. So the man now said, I've done the DNA of the two, three children you have for us. Did I stop spending money for the children? Even though the children are not mine. From that deal, the woman have been finding a way to be fighting that man. Eventually, you know, a man will be pushed to the wall. Even though the man ran to Dubai, he came back. The man was pushed to the wall one day. So you know the man will want to beat you when you you give him you gave him first attack you've been giving him first attack he will run away from home just because he knew that those three children were not this is the recent gso on social media they now started fighting domestic in nigeria the woman choked the man here the man lose balance the woman went and pick iron that they are using to iron clothes and hit the man on the head she lied that arm robber came to the house police came there was no traces of arm robber so they've arrested the woman. The man is dead. Though. As many cheating women out there. Theory DNA, none of it is this man's biological children. And the man told her, confronted her. That is where the, every cheating one, the cats follow the ass. In the name of Jesus, you people, you will die before your time. 